Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you and tell you how to use a Samsung dishwasher. This will be a full tutorial, so let's get right into the video. This is my Samsung dishwasher, and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Now, most Samsung dishwashers will operate in a very similar manner. So even if you have a different model, um, you can obviously probably take these instructions and apply them, at least for the most part, to your own dishwasher. This specific model number, just so you know, is DW80R5061US. Once again, the model number is DW80R5061US. Just so you know, once again, model number DW80R5061US. I just wanted to, I guess, make sure that I got it correctly. Okay, so really easy to use. First and foremost, you want to load up your dishwasher. You have your lower rack. Usually you put your plates and your, your cutlery there. Anything oversized will go there. You have your upper rack over here, bowls, glasses, mugs, stuff like that. And then you might have um, also a cutlery rack over here, which I use for like oversized utensils and stuff like that, okay? We rarely use it, but you might need to use it, okay? Essentially, once you've loaded your dishwasher, you want to put in your detergent and your possible rinse aid. To put in your detergent, you either pour it in here or you simply put your little, uh, like I use like these little detergent pods so I put them in here just because I have four young kids so I usually keep these I always keep them at the top top upper cabinet so no one can access them except for me when I'm on a step stool so like literally they're so high up and it's just easier for me to just store a container of these up there um, and then you know take them one at a time whenever I need them. So that's why I choose to use these pods, just so you know, it's just way easier and safer for my household, okay? So when you put in your either your, your liquid detergent or your detergent pod, you're gonna go ahead and close that right there. If you wanna open it again after, you can go ahead and open it like this. But when you run the cycle, so let's say I, the, the pods in there, let's say I close it and I run the cycle, it'll automatically open up during the cycle. So I pretty much don't have to ever push this because it opens up automatically during the cycle. If you wanna add rinse aid, you can twist this counterclockwise put in your rinse aid put the lid back on okay um and then basically you just need to start up the dishwasher so it's just a matter of choosing your cycle so essentially um you want to turn on the power so i'm going to push power right here okay once again i'll try that one more time i'll push power right there there we go now as you can choose your cycles okay so and if you want to turn it off you can go and push power again just so you know but if you want to turn it on once again push power just like that and i held it down for just a brief moment you have to kind of Keep your finger on it for a second and you can hear a chime uh, as I turn it on. There you go. So essentially you can do auto, normal, heavy, delicate, express 60 rinse only. I just choose normal almost every single time. It's just the easiest cycle because uh, it's just, you know, everything I wash is normal. Nothing, nothing that I wash is, re requires anything, any, any other thing. If you want to choose an option, you can go ahead and push one of these. So let's say I wanted to choose the lower rack option. Once again, I could go ahead and push the lower rack right there. I can also turn it off. Just like that, on or off. You can choose whichever option you want, okay? And some of the options will add time. So if I push lower rack, you can see it changes, it changed the time to two hours and 22 minutes. Whereas when I turned it off, it's two hours and 50 minutes, okay? Because I believe, I'm not sure, I think that that does basically the lower rack. If you only, if you only want to do like half of the dishwasher, basically. Okay, so choose your cycle, choose your options. Um, and then basically you can choose if you want to delay start. So if you want to start it later, you can do that. That's up to you. I, I've never used this, but I know it's easy to do. You can, you can push delay start to delay, but I, I don't use it plain and simple. Whenever you're ready, you're basically going to push the start button. Make sure you give a good push. Okay. And as you can see, it's saying that it's ready to wash. When you're ready to start your Samsung cycle, close that. And it's going to start. So the first thing that it's going to do, you can see over here, you can always see what's going on over here. Um, I believe it's flashing because I didn't do it fast enough. So I'm going to, we're, we'll start it again. Okay. So I'll, you know, I took my time there. This is what I would regularly do. Turn it on. Okay. The pot is in there. Normal wash cycle, no options. Push start. Done. Close it. Okay. So now it's working. Okay. So that light indicator lets you know that it's working. If you hear it's draining. Now this dishwasher is very, very quiet. It's draining, so it's gonna drain all the water in there, then it's gonna fill it with, with water, it's gonna start working. And the time remaining will be displayed there. Now this Samsung dishwasher will actually pop itself open when there's between five and 15 minutes left in the cycle. Um, it plays a little chime with those tones and it pops itself open to let everything dry. So that's basically it. That is essentially how to use a Samsung dishwasher. Um, like I said, 
every Samsung dishwasher is going to be slightly different, but they're going to be very, they're going to be similar enough that you could probably take these instructions and apply them for the most part to your own Samsung dishwasher as well. And that's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down. Sorry, before I finish the video, leave the dishwasher closed. Obviously, you know, if you ever need to see anything, you could just go down like this. If your Samsung dishwasher has the numbers mounted on the top. Okay, you can always check like that. So I don't open the dishwasher to look at anything. I always go like this and I can see that there's two hours and 49 minutes left. I can see what part of the cycle it's on over there with that light. I can see what cycle it, I've chosen with that light and I can see the light indicators letting me know that it's working. That's what all of those lights mean down there, just so you know. That's how much time is remaining. That's the uh, part of the cycle that it's on, which is now wash. Okay, that is the uh, light indicator letting me know that it's working, it's on. And this is the cycle that we've chosen, which is the normal wash. That's it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.